From Woodlands to Tulukblanga. I'm a food delivery rider. From Jurong to Tampanese. I'm a student. Everyday Singaporeans with a life-changing passion. If I win MasterChef, it will be guaranteed chop. I'm the best home chef in Singapore. Chase down their dreams. I'm a culinary superstar. Don't mess with Raj. Hmm. This is MasterChef 2022. You guys are Singapore's best home cooks. The only way to go deep into this competition is to dig into your raw emotions and cook from your heart. Add to that a dash of daring and the willingness to go big or go home. Before Asia's culinary heroes... Chef Gagan Anand. ...in mind-blowing challenges... That pan caught fire. Oh, no. That's why you... so okay, silly. Relax, 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 relax. These extraordinary home cooks... Service. OK, service. ...create dishes they'd never dreamed possible. It's the best show I've ever had in my life. Perfection. Then suddenly, pam! <laughs> Great food is much more than a feast for the eyes and taste buds. You can't turn your back on it. It draws you in. It captivates you on so many levels. And you simply have to take another bite. Lives will be changed forever. It's MasterChef Kitchen, dude. Anything happens, everything happens. As one outstanding home cook... Mind-blowing. ...rises above the battles to become Singapore's MasterChef. Guys, I am really liking what I'm seeing. I think this lady here is going to be one to watch. I have two here that I think might be winners. I reckon this guy has got it all. Look, here they come. Time to find Singapore's next master chef. Let's see what lucky number three brings us. Coming to MasterChef, I'm really, really excited. I'm going to blow the judges' minds in whatever challenges I have. I want to be the next MasterChef. I auditioned last season, but I didn't make the cut. And for this season, I prepared, I studied. I am 100% ready for MasterChef Singapore 3. Walking into Gardens by the Bay, I have no idea what we are doing here. But I'm here because, obviously, I want to win. And I know I can do it. I walked in and I see the judges and my heart beat boom, 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 boom. Oh, no. For those who don't already know, I'm Bjorn. I'm Audra. And I'm Damien. Welcome to MasterChef. This is our biggest season yet. We're kicking off the competition right here in the iconic Gardens by the Bay. Yay! A horticultural showpiece that educates, inspires, and entertains. Let's hope you can do the same. You guys are Singapore's best home cooks. All the hours that you've spent practicing at home have brought you to this very moment. Today could be the beginning of your culinary fairy tale. I can't believe that I'm actually in the top 18 right now in Singapore MasterChef. I'm not sure what to expect later, but I'm sure going to give it a good one. Jiayi, you are our youngest contestant here. <laughs> Thank you. Are you pumped? Yeah, I am. Tell us how you're feeling. I think I can win them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Being the youngest means I have the least experience out of everyone, but I'm in it to win it. So, Ivia, you're the food delivery driver. Are you ready to cook up a storm? Yes, of course. Uh, all this while I've been picking up food from other chefs, I think it's my turn to show on the plate what I can do. Nice. You're going to deliver. So I started being a food delivery rider when COVID started. I think there's a stigma with delivery riders. It's either they're uneducated, they're not doing well at home. So I'm hoping to change that. I'm here to prove everyone wrong. Hi, I'm Ilya. I'm your food guy from morning to night. I'm quite adventurous. I like to study new ingredients, new methods that I'm not familiar with. And I try to bridge the gap between traditional Malay cooking and the uninitiated. Competition this season is very, very tough, but I am tougher and I will take away the crown of Singapore's next MasterChef. MasterChef is the biggest cooking competition 
in the world. And we're looking for the best home cook in Singapore. But the MasterChef Kitchen is an exclusive club. And to enter, you will need one of this. I was like, wow, macho. <laughs> the iconic white apron. The apron definitely, definitely belongs to me. Now, these aprons are in short supply. There are 18 home cooks here, but only 12 will earn an apron today. This is it. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. I really want to be in the top 12 very badly. That's what I'm here for. Today, you have 75 minutes to cook one of our favourite ingredients on MasterChef. This challenge, guys, will separate the MasterChef worthy from the average home cook. So it's only fitting to give our key ingredient the Grand MasterChef entrance. When I see the drone flying in, I was like, oh my god, what is that? Fish. Why did it have to be fish? I don't eat fish. I hate fish. I can feel my adrenaline building. What do I do with this thing? Woo! All right. A priority drone delivered fish. I do a bit of fishing. So fish is something familiar to me. Good one. Good fish. Courtesy of our friends at Drone Net System by ST Engineering, who interestingly enough are using drones to deliver supplies to cargo vessels and in the future will even be delivering groceries. So, guys, they've supplied the fish. Now it's your job to turn the fish into the most delicious representation of yourself. We will be tasting as you cook. Out of the 18 of you, only eight will immediately earn a spot in the MasterChef kitchen. Between the rest of you, Three will go home, while the others get a second chance tomorrow. So take your chance and come out firing on all cylinders. Get ready to sink or swim, guys, because whatever the weather, rain, hail or shine, your 75 minutes starts now. Let's go. We have to prepare a master chef worthy fish dish. Three people going home, and I'm definitely not going to be one of them. Pretty nervous, actually, and my hands are shaking. I'm looking at the fish. The fish is looking at me. Hello, mate. Thanks ever so much for showing up today. Not. <laughs> I have the fish stigma, the nemesis is with me. Feeling concerned, but I'm in it to win it, and I'm gonna give it my best shot. My name is Brian Kennett. I've got a deep relationship with Asian food, having lived here 20 years. Very strong connection with local food, and I always ask the hawker uncles and aunties for their secret recipes. I think I stand a really good chance of winning MasterChef Singapore because I bring something different, the Asian in Caucasian. <laughs> Guys, this is the biggest audition day we've ever had, don't you think? Absolutely. And you know what? With three going home today, you need to shine from the very first slice of that fish. For sure. Filleting is a skill every chef should master. Fish are precious. You want everything edible on the plate and not in a bin. I've filleted a few fishes in my lifetime, and uh, this seems all right. I want the apron really, really badly. Narsh, you've got, can you turn your fillets over? Nice and smooth on this side. What about this one? Let's. Well done. Well thank, done. You so, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. I've cooked plenty of fishes. This challenge is going to be a walk in the park for me. OK, just flip the fish over. Yeah, you wasted a lot of meat. Mm. They actually look pretty even. You've taken a lot of the flesh off the bones. Excellent. Yes. OK, thank you, Chef. That's rather clean on this side. Very even, very nice. Well done. Thank you very much. OK. Job done. Job one done. <laughs> now, cooking. <laughs> One hour to go. Woo, let's go. I am doing sweet and sour fish. I hope it's strong enough for MasterChef. 
So I'm going to make a seared cauliflower, the fish soup itself, the seared fish, and probably a pickled garnish. I'm using all bits of the fish because I don't want to waste any of the food, and I think it's going to incorporate a lot of the fishy flavour into my dish. Teochew fish soup. It's actually a dish that my grandma made for me a lot when I was growing up. What does my grandma mean to me? I think two words. It's unconditional love. So I'm cooking this to honour her, really. Today, I'm cooking a dish inspired by my mom and my husband because they mean the world to me. I'm hoping my prawn moily with chilli fry will gain a spot in the top eight. Joel, can you tell me what you're cooking, please? It's going to be pan seared fish with turmeric and chilli. Okay. And I'm into finance, so I'm going to kind of crop it out. It looks like a blockchain. A crypto, what? Blockchain, crypto type of presentation. Oh. So the dish is going to be called Flippin' Blockchain. Okay. I'm coming out with the plan of the flying crypto fish. And crypto is the hardest asset class right now. And um, it should be the winning dish. I'm Joel. I'm an investor. I invest in the stock market. But my favorite market is the wet market. I believe good food should be made available to everybody, not just fine dining. And hopefully one day, I will set up a food truck empire and um, make food available for everybody. Today, I'm uh, going to make a pan sear fish. I'll be pan searing the fish itself. My dish is a pan fried fillet. Pan fried fish. So the challenge is fish fillet. And I think everyone here is doing pan seared fish, even without them telling me. So let's do something different. So my plan is to do like a fish satay lilit on a skewer of a lemongrass. I dare to be different, and hopefully that stands out. Today, I'm going to cook the pan seared fish with miso ponzu sauce. I'm the only one who's making it in the Japanese style. I think it's going to be unique, and the judges will love it. I'm feeling very confident right now. I'm making my prawn stock, and I feel I'm proud of the taste right now. It tastes so good. Guys, the smell that's coming out of this whole cooking area is incredible. What have you guys seen, Dane? To me, the person who worries me is Aditya. Mm. He's filleting the fish, then he's cut the fish up now. I have no clue what's going on with him right no now. No vision from the start. He doesn't have the vision of the final dish, mm. and that's worrying. Do you know what, Jonathan, dental student, right. very methodical, uh, loving what he's doing. Guys, I don't know what's going on, but it seems like a lot of contestants have started cooking their fish when there's more than 30 minutes left on the clock to go. I mean, what gives? When you taste my sambal dabu dabu, I feel so like under pressure. Am I doing the right thing? Guys, 30 minutes to go! So it's 30 minutes left. Seems like I'm a little ahead of myself. I'm going to look at what's back there in the pantry and find out more things to put on the dish. So my satay lilit, when I put on the pan, it crumbles and disintegrates in little pieces. And I was like, oh my god, what am I supposed to serve? So I had to think quickly. Change of plans, the dish will not be a satay, but it will be a satay fish sa squid. Hopefully it will work. I'm starting to feel really, 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 really worried. I don't want to go home. Lah. Elia! Hello! How are you? How are you going? Uh, it started out not perfectly. Okay. Because the initial plan was to do a satay on a lemongrass skewer. What happened? So the satay, the moment I put it in the pan, it decides to stick on the skillet. So when I wanted to turn it over, it all gave way. But you've reinvented another yes, dish. Yes, yes. Are we going to love this? Hopefully. I tasted the, the stuffing. It is superbly lit. Looking forward <laughs> to you. it. I have to really, really make this work. I have a vision of how to plate it, but I'm not sure whether it's enough. Keno. Hello, sir. So tell us, what are you making? It's a pan-fried fish. OK. I'm making a quasi kind of a, a mixed hodgepodge, which I normally do here, which is a, like a serving sauce to go with it, comes sambal. It's of what origin? So, of my own. Of your own origin? Yeah, yeah. I call it a hybrid curry sauce. Yeah, you know, try and hit the judges with the Caucasian can cook Asian curry. Chai Yi. Hi. How's everything going on? It's OK. Yeah? I think it's OK. I think I'm in good time. How long have you cooked? I only started really cooking, like, probably one year ago. My name's Jia Yi. I'm currently studying Environmental Earth System Science at NTU. 
I started cooking during circuit breaker. Being a competitive weight brother has trained me to be adaptable and remain calm under pressure. I know what it takes to win, and that's what I'm going to do in MasterChef. All right, guys, this is what cooking under pressure is all about. There are 15 minutes left on the clock. It's time to chop, chop. Let's go. Oh, I have plenty of time, damn it. Keeping it too simple. My fish fillet, it turned out a little bit soggy. It was just a blubber mess. Like, what do I do now? What do I do now? What do I do now? Raj. Hello. Hello, hello. It, What's going so, on in your bench? So yes. this is my curry dish. Are you, at this point in time... Confident. Confident with your show? Super confident. OK. Uh, no uh, apron, I'm not going back. <laughs> OK. I started cooking because I found out that my wife couldn't cook very well. <laughs> The name is Raj. I'm 58-year-old granddad with an 18-year-old soul. Back in the 80s, I was Singapore's Michael Jackson. Hmm. Like my decade's worth of hip-hop dancing, my dishes pop with style and finesse. I'm finally ready to drop the spices beat and win that MasterChef trophy. Come on, you've got five minutes left! I tasted my dish. I say like, oh, voila, I love it. And I'm confident with my dish. While well, I'm cooking this ponzu fish, I look down to my pan, I see my fish, I see my garlic being burnt. I don't have extra fish for me, and I don't know what to do. I think I might be going home. You got two minutes, guys, two minutes. MasterChef Singapore, and that was an incredibly frantic start to the competition. Some of you handled the pressure impressively, but others were like fish out of water. Out of 18 of you here, only eight will earn an immediate spot in the MasterChef kitchen. As you guys know, we've already tasted the elements of your dishes as you cooked. And from amongst the 18, there are four dishes that we are really excited to sample. The first hopefully amazing dish comes from Jonathan. When my name was caught, <sighs> my blown. All right, Jonathan, what have you made for us today? Today, I made a Teochew fish soup, and I'm serving it with seared cauliflower steak, as well as a pickled onions to go with the soup. I hope the flavors really come true. I think in a such short period of time, you managed to get the balance of flavors very well. Thank you, Chef. Very Teochew. Thank you, Chef. Jonathan? Yes, Chef. I think your grandma would have been so proud of you. Well Thank done. Thank you, Chef. I think we're off to a very good start. Absolutely. Thank you, Chef. The next dish that caught our attention was prepared by Eka. I'm shocked and my body's shaking. It's just too overwhelming, you know? I did seafood on platter with mashed potato and sambal dabu dabu in truffle oil. The marriage of the sambal and fish is heavenly. Thank you so you much. them well. I've spent a lot of time in Indonesia. I've had sambal dabu dabu before. Mm -hmm. And I think that your version's better than the versions I've had in Oh my god, in so nice of you. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I feel so proud. I'm so happy. Oh Over the moon. Ilya. I heard them calling my name. In my mind, I was like, Ilya? Really? I've made satay lilit, but it's stuffed in squid with brown butter sauce that is infused with lemongrass and orange. Man, I wasn't quite prepared for that. This pack's a punch. It's an absolute riot of flavour in my mouth right now. All that rumpa on the inside, brilliant. I mean, it just brought the best out of the fish. Mate, I love it. Thank you. I'm feeling quite speechless. 
I think this is one of the best compliments I have ever received. The fourth impressive dish of the day was prepared by Shamin. I am overwhelmed with emotion. It is unbelievable. My husband taught me how to make the prawn moili, and I've tried to make a fish chili fry, which is an East Indian speciality. My mom can whip this up in a jiffy. I've tried to replicate it, though I'm not sure she would give me the thumbs up. But I hope I can make her happy. <laughs> this is everything that I love about food. Thank you. Every element had a reason for being on the plate, and that, my friend, is gold. Thank you very much. Jonathan, Eka, Ilya, and Charmin. The four of you are perfect examples of home cooks who are about to take that next big step. The clear best fish dish of the day was cooked by... Charmin. Come and take an apron. Woohoo! Yes! For me, it's a dream come true. No words can describe this feeling to actually just get hold of this. You three clearly deserve aprons as well. Please take one. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Can I bring it home? <laughs> There were four other dishes that also showed us something special. So there's another four more aprons. I'm hoping to get one. There's a lot of anxiety. Jai. The flavors would definitely hit it in the right direction, and we're so excited to see how fast you can learn. Thank you. Naresh. Naresh, you probably showed us the best technique in cooking that fish. You scored it lovely. It was kind of really well browned right across. Thomas. Yes, Chef. I like your sauce. Your fish was cooked very well. Points for finesse. Thank you, Thank chef. you. The next dish... Say Kano, Kano, Kano. So I'm waiting, waiting. One more slot left. It's now or never, man. The next dish. So I'm waiting, waiting. One more slot left. It's now or never, man. What's up, Andy? Oh, me? <laughs> me? I was like, oh, me? I was like, hey, yeah, hey, me. Yo, Kam Hyung with Samba Blachan was really, really, really good. I think it was very innovative. Very well done. Tiai, Andy, Thomas, and Naresh. You've earned your spots in the MasterChef kitchen. Yes! I'm just a simple man from an ordinary part of Singapore. And to get this apron, it's a sense of validation to me. And it means the whole world to me right now. So now we need to get down to the business end of this challenge. Fiona, Alpha, Keno, Rosie, Eddie and Charlene. You each showed us a glimpse of what we're seeking but none of us were fully convinced. So we've decided to give you guys another chance tomorrow to cook again and prove to us that you deserve an apron. I am very disappointed, but I know I have my name on that apron for sure. And that leaves us with just four of you. You cook the least impressive dishes of the day. However, one of you will get a second chance, but the other three will be leaving the competition immediately. To decide, we need to taste your dishes again. So, Shobo, can you bring your dish up, please? All right. I call it flipping crypto fish because it, it's got many layers of it. Starting with mashed potato, then with the layer of fish with flavorings of turmeric and chilies. And I have the fish bone out there to represent continuity in the chain of um, the cryptocurrency. That's quite a lot of... That's, yeah, just, just like blockchain is complicated. Cryptocurrency is a very confusing um, concept for the world. Maybe we're not keeping up with where your head is going <laughs> to with this dish. For me, the flavors don't blend. I just felt that the entire dish was very disjointed. Also, your prawn is raw. Mm. Um, I'm really sorry, Joel. No worries. Thank you. Sean, please step forward. I actually deboned the fish and the rest I seared it and then cooked it in broth. 
for the soup itself, I was making something like a seafood pula base, and I just sauteed the brinjal. I think you shouldn't have done the broth. That spoiled everything. Sometimes less and small. Don't confuse flavours. But thank you very much. Thank you. Gabriel, can you come forward, please? Taking my dish to the judges, honestly, I don't know what to feel about the burnt fish, but I hope my sauce can be a saving grace. Today, I have made pan-seared fish with ponzu miso sauce. You overcook the fish quite a bit. I don't get the sauce. There's a lot of confusion there, and it's very salty. Unfortunately, I don't have too many positive things to say about it, apart from the pack that you're plating. It was actually quite refined. Thank you. Raj, can you bring out your dish, please? When I find out that I'm bottom four, that's where it hits me. Oh, no. Hello. I felt that I did a great job, but sadly, the judges felt otherwise. So for today, I present to you my dish, Hari for curry, which is coconut-based, and it's also my mom's favourite dish. Hopefully, you like it. So, Raj, it could be cooked a little bit longer and gotten and cooked so much more flavour out of your curry. OK. You know, unfortunately, <laughs> in another 30 minutes' time, this would have worn you an apron. Thank you very much, Raj. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I think we need a moment, guys, to make a huge decision here. Please step forward. Sean, Raj, Gabriel, and Joe. We can only offer one of you guys a second chance. Raj, when we tasted your dish, we felt that the dish wasn't cooked enough. It needed time. However, we feel that you have the potential, and for that reason, you're safe. And you yes. cook again tomorrow. Ooh. Yay! I'm gonna face the judges again one more time. It's not gonna be easy, but I'm gonna do it. Never say die. That's me. And for you three, unfortunately, today's not your day. But don't ever forget, you're three amongst 18 of Singapore top cooks. Thank you so much. See you guys. Bye. I'm definitely disappointed, but this is a really good experience. I'm going away a happy man. I'm still going to continue to chase my food truck dream. Somewhere out there, there's a food truck for Joel. It's great to see some of you in aprons. You certainly deserved it. And for the other seven of you, I know that today was tough, but we had to push you to see how you could handle the pressure. Tomorrow, you get your chance to cook your signature dish. Something that you're familiar and comfortable with. And you must show us why you deserve an apron. The stakes are very high. So, we've decided to hold the challenge in a place that will inspire you. Guns by the base, Flower Dome. It's the world's largest greenhouse home to an incredible collection of exotic flowers and plants. You'll each be given one hour in the Flower Dome kitchen to create all the elements of your masterpiece. You must then transport every item to the judging table and complete the dish in front of us. This pressure, not an easy task, but I'm going to prove to my judges I'm among the best. Don't waste this second chance. Because tomorrow, the doors to the MasterChef kitchen slam shut. I will make a comeback tomorrow. I will get my apron. Guys, it's been a long day. Have a good rest. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Thank good you. night. Guys, today we have seven cooks battling for four aprons. Who's first? Oh, I can't wait. The Caucasian is back in anger, and the Caucasian is going to walk away with an apron today. Only four are going to get an apron today. Adrenaline is pumping hard. Today, I'm going to be cooking, again, Asian style. So this dish I'm bringing to the judges today is called Mary Lamac. This is named after my wife. It's a curry. And to lift it a bit, I'm doing jackfruit. Jackfruit, 55 minutes, plus everything else. So I think it's really pushing anyone's cooking capabilities, let alone the Angmo. Really going hard and really pushing myself. I'm very grateful I have a second chance to prove myself better today. I won the apron so much more than anything else right now. 
Today I'm cooking tagliatelle with squid ink sauce and garlic butter prawns. This dish is definitely an inspiration from my mother. We eat this all the time. I am confident that my dish is a winning dish. My name is Alpha. Food is very much in my blood. My parents actually have a nasi padang stall and I actually started helping them out as young as three years old. My mom is definitely an inspiration to me, especially in the kitchen. I'm here to make my mom proud and I'm definitely going to win the MasterChef title for myself. Okay, we can do this. I've never cooked a jackfruit until I practiced a few times. So what I was trying to do is not put something that I'm really comfortable with. It's something that would challenge me. So I'm hoping that would be respected as something that stood out. Kero! Hello, hello. You've got five minutes to play it up. Time to start moving, my friend. So this is it's a play on a Malay street food curry. Um, so lamac. Ah, OK, OK. So it's a jackfruit curry. Jackfruit curry, yeah. OK, chefs, here is my Mary Lamac curry for you to enjoy. Please do. If you dig deep enough in there, you will find an apron. Thank you. <laughs> OK, Keno, I think you've done the jackfruit service. Thank you, chef. OK, when you do a Lamac, I always feel that you have to add more spice to it. Right. I do wish it was seasoned just 10% more. Yep. The lobster that I got, it might have been just a touch overcooked. Okay. Despite the few imperfections here, I will say that this is a perfect expression of soul food. Thank you, thank you. I've never do my own pasta, actually. So, this is pretty new to me. I'm taking a big risk. I am going to prove to the judges that it's the best that they can taste. Perfect. <laughs> Welcome, Alpha. Woohoo! Come on, come on in. Oh, quite a bit that. of things going on there. So today I've made uh, squid ink taglatelle with uh, garlic butter prawns and some confit tomatoes. Did you make the pasta? Yes, I did. Very nice. Shall we taste, boys? Please yes. do. It's just something about the smell of garlic butter, oh, isn't it? Oh yeah. The judge is tasting my dish right now, and in my mind is just, oh my god, oh my god, let me just get through this. I am desperate for an apron. Alpha. Alpha. I am happiest when I've had a really delicious plate of food. And this, there is nothing on this plate that has disappointed me. And for me, the star of this dish is that pasta. It's chewy and it's just bloody delicious. Thank you. You shouldn't call it pasta. You should call Singapore handmade noodles because that's what it yes. is. Yes. <laughs> And the sauce. Man. Whoa. Thank you. Very good. Thank well you. done. Thank you, guys. I'm just speechless. I'm so happy that they like it. Alpha, what I'd like you to do is just close your eyes for us. Tell us what going through in this competition would mean to you. Being a master chef is like a dream come true. And I look forward to many, many more amazing things happening to me and my family. OK. Well, dreams do come true. Oh, Alpha. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's just explosive. I saw that very apron and it is mine. It is mine. It feels so good. I'm going to make a sotong masak lemak. It's actually a dish that I cook regularly at home. But for today's Emesha round, I'm trying to infuse the Eurasian culture into this pranakan dish. Today, I must get an apron. So my dish today is called a homage, which is a pun on home and homage, because it is the dish that my mum makes for me. Every time I go back home, it's something that I look forward to. Today, I'm making spinach ota with puri, and I wish I impressed them with my meal today. My God, it's going to mean the world to me to get an apron today. I'm Rosie. I am a makeup artist and I'm obsessed with all things that is pretty. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is going to make the most fabulous dishes of them all? That's right, it's going to be me. 
it burns, it's too hot. I'm trying to learn to control this induction. I'm trying to make lace tools to decorate my dish. Very nervous, it's not working. I have one more minute. I'm trying to do my one last piece to see whether it can come out nicely. My dish has multiple elements going on. The dough is a tricky element. As I'm moulding the dough onto the cup, I realise that it's a bit thicker than I expected. But that's okay, because it's still a rustic look and it's a dish that reminds me of home, so I don't need it to be completely perfect. Puri is something not easy to do. Yeah, pretty. So by showing off doing puri today, is to show the judges that, hey, my puri really puff. Hi, Fiona, come on down. <laughs> I've actually made sotong masak lemak. I added minced pork, prawns, shiitake mushroom and cabbage into it. There you go. This is my sotong masa lemak. Fiona, plating-wise, it's literally like gardens by the bay. The super trees among the gardens. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, Adi. You're good at improv, I hear. Yes, I do okay. do improv, yes. Improv, Damien. They've got to see this. Act like me now. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> looking good, Adi, looking good. So this dish I like to call homage which is homage to my home. It is an edible basket with tandoori fish inside of it. There's a chunky mango chutney and a mint yogurt dressing. Today I'm making spinach ota served with puri. I hope you enjoy oh. with puri. Rosie? Yes? You walk in here this morning and you charm us off our feet. This dish right here, which looks like it came from a fine dining restaurant, doesn't it? Oh, my goodness. I cannot even hide my excitement right now. Ah! Oh, my God. I hope you love it. I think you cooked the squid really well. Your stuffing was also done well. Yeah. The flavour, though, I feel that you could have done with a little bit more blachan. Mm. OK. Yeah. These little morsels are meant to be a party in your mouth, you know. Small bundles like this make it impactful. I would give it a little bit more salt or just a little bit more acid, more balance of flavours, right? Let me start by saying, when I first saw it, I had my doubts about the pastry because it did look a little bit thick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the most delicious part of this dish yes. is the fish. Okay. And for me, the ratio is a little bit wrong. I was struggling to find the fish. Everything else overpowers the fish. Everything. Right. Give us a sec. It's not what I expected. Yeah. Okay. Adi, for today, for MasterChef Season 3, we feel this is not quite up to scratch, yeah? We've got to let you go. Thank you so much, judges. Thank you for the comments. Thank you, Adi. Thank, Thank you. you for the opportunity. Thanks, Adi. I'm sad to say goodbye. I'm sad to have lost. But also, I'm happy to have lost to such incredibly talented cooks. I can't wait to see the amazing stuff that happens in the MasterChef kitchen with them. For today, I'm going to cook everybody's favorite dish, which is the hot and sour Sichuan soup of love. I know I'm at risk today. I got to push myself. It's not going to be easy. I'm making cream puffs inspired by this traditional old coffee shop that sells butter coffee and kaya toast. I'm cooking this because it's something that reminds me of my family. Butter coffee is something my husband loves and my kids love cream puffs. So it's my family on a plate. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous because I have a lot of elements to my dish. I'm not sure I have enough time. I really love cooking. It's how I connect with others and um, food is love. My name is Charlene and I'm a nutrition and food science teacher. I went into teaching at a very young age, basically to ease the financial burden at home. I think it's finally time for me to pursue my passion in cooking and do something for myself. I want to be the next master chef to inspire the next generation to pursue their dreams. I'm simmering my love. As you can see, my love heart is here. I just want to make sure the tofu comes out right. You know, the texture is pretty important. I want to prove to my judges that I'm talented. Cooking is my passion. It's in my blood. Ooh, here comes Raj. I gotta put this all here, right? Yep. Oh, it's gonna be right here. Oh, look at this. So what I've done, okay, for you guys is actually uh, everybody's favorite hot and sour Sichuan soup of love. Okay? <laughs> See? I'm using crab in my dish. 
Add a little bit of the black sugar. Voila! Okay, guys, shall we taste? Hopefully, this is as loud as you. Yes, I hope so. Yes. I am worried a little bit about what the judges would think that it's going to be a simple dish, just soup alone. But then, it's not just any ordinary soup. It has to taste right and says it's hot and sour. I, you know, honestly, uh, mm -hmm. for a hot and sour soup, you've done very well, you know. Thank you. You did the tofu very well as well, yeah. my friend. <laughs> you know, as much as this is a good rendition of a hot and sour soup, I do feel like it's... it's got a certain limit. You know, it's a very good, for me, Wednesday night dinner. Okay. But not taking anything away from you, that is very well executed, very well balanced. Thank you. I'm a bit behind, I think, because like the cream puff shells are still in the oven, just for baking. The last one minute, I panicked. My shoe puffs started to puff up, but they didn't have enough time, barely. So I literally left them in till the very last second. Oh. It's not perfect, but I think that's the best I yeah, could do. Good morning, Charlene. Come on up. Oh, hello. Oh, something sweet. <laughs> I've made um, shoe or cracklin, which is basically shoe pastry with like a cookie crumble topping. Nice. So I'm doing like a coffee butter custard. Guys, did you catch that slab of butter action butter. going on? Yeah. Sandwich <laughs> between two swirls of coffee custard. My mouth is watering, guys. So has it turned out the way you wanted it to? No, not completely. Like the shoe pastries, I think, need a little bit more time. Okay. I just want to see how it cuts open, yeah? Very soft. It's very light, which is a good sign. Oh, 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 oh. look at that. One mouth, guys. This is beautiful. The creme diplomat you've got in there is super light and it's not too sweet. And that Gaia has that really earthy sort of flavour that actually blends with this so well. That whole morsel melted in my mouth. I tell you what came to my mind when I ate this dish. I'm sitting in Crawford Lane. I'm eating my Kaya toast. I'm drinking black coffee with butter. And on the table, a jewel biscuits. The traditional the small, biscuit tradi with a little yeah, icing. That for me is really, really powerful, you know? Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, Charlene, I want you to do one thing for us. Turn around, look at that Master Chef sign there. Tell us how much you want it. I want it. <laughs> you a want lot, it bad? Quite a lot, quite bad, yeah. All right, well, turn around. Yeah. <laughs> I see Bjorn holding out the apron to me. It is a surreal feeling. I'm surprised and uh, relieved oh, all at the same time. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow, guys, that was some pretty good tasting, isn't it? You can tell these were so much more well-practiced. It really makes me happy to see them really, really up their game. That's right. I think they're going to do a lot more better. Unfortunately, there's only two more aprons mm, left yep. and we've got to cull it down. Shall we get everyone together? Yep. yep. All right, let's do it. Out of the 18 home cooks who started this competition, 10 have earned their place in the MasterChef kitchen, and four have been eliminated. Now we have four cooks holding up for the last two aprons. You all cooked amazingly today, and there was hardly anything between the four of you. Rossi and Keno, we love what you guys bring to this competition. But after carefully reviewing your dishes, we've decided that you guys are just outpointed. So I'm sorry, your quest for a MasterChef apron has fallen agonizingly short. <laughs> extremely disappointed, extremely sad, but the experience was fantastic. So, yeah, positive. Rossi and Keno, lovely having you. See you guys later. Bye. I will never stop cooking, okay? And I will invent new dishes. Oh, nobody gonna stop me cooking, right? Fiona and Raj, congratulations. Come get your aprons. I got the apron, yeah, finally. I've been dreaming about this apron for a long, long time. Good job, Raj. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you are our top 12. Yes. So guys, your next stop is the MasterChef Kitchen. Now the aprons you're wearing comes with a whole lot of pressure to perform. But it's also a sign of our faith in you. You each have what it takes to become Singapore's master chef. Good luck with the rest of the competition. We'll see you soon. Woo! Let's go! Yes! We got it! We got it! I got the apron! I got the apron! I got the apron! Next time on Master Chef, you are Singapore's top 12 home cook. Asia's rock and roll celebrity chef turns the heat up to 10. If you win the competition, I give you my shirt. I want that shirt. But the fun evaporates into fear oh. as contestants face a shock elimination. Oh, oh my God.